you know, people here really care about their cars with soda fuel everywhere. That's why we are dedicated to writing you reviews on automobiles from here and around the world. This is Detroit. This is the Oakland Car Review. Hello, and thanks for joining us today on the Oakland Car Review. Today, we are very excited to bring to you the 2011 Jaguar XJ from Elder Jaguar in Troy. Now, as you can see, the Jaguar XJ is a very uniquely styled vehicle. It offers a modern twist on the luxury vehicle. And adding to that unique, beautiful, elegant style is its interesting shape and very curvy lines. Now, the Jaguar XJ was fully redesigned in 2009 and what a 100% improvement from the old model. Now, not only is the XJ luxurious, it's a true driver's car. And for the price, you get so many standard features that other competitors just can't match up to. Now let's see if this Jaguar XJ drives as good as it looks. Now normally we don't go into the back seat of vehicles just because there's not a whole lot to show you but in this XJ there are so many features in the back seat that we just have to go back there and show a few to you so I'm going to do that right now. Now I just want to make notice of one thing how large this door is right here very large door huge opening right here this is the xjl extended wheel base now you get a ton of room back here i can stretch my legs all the way out a ton of room and then we also have these neat uh, little tables right here that fold out so if you want to write a little letter or maybe you're eating something quite useful we have the very nice wood trim carried again all through the back of the vehicle with the speaker integrated right into it we also have dual zone climate control for the rear passenger, which is very nice. And then we have the uh, heated seats. There are just so many features um, that you get with the XJ, and they even are just carried right into the back seat. So what a great vehicle. And we have great storage options here, like this large center armrest that has um, storage compartments right here. And then right here we have our cup holders and additional storage right there. And then we also have a rear sunshade that you just press this button when the car is on and it will come right up. We have moonroof right here in the back for the rear passengers as well. Again, nice feature Jenga is really thinking about the rear passengers as well. That's why the XJ reminds me of quite a bit of a Bentley. We have the tables, we have the moonroof, huge seating area, lots of leg room, and just a wide opening. So now let's go back to the front. The 2012 Jaguar XJ is really a driver's car. And that is what is important to me. Not only do you get luxury and style, but you get performance that is very, very useful. Because on a lot of vehicles, you know, little sports cars, you know, you can't, you can't take them on a long road trip. They may, they may be not be ultra comfortable, but that's why I love luxury cars so much. Large luxury cars, because you get the performance and on top of that, you get the space as well. And that is what the Jaguar XJ does so well. It provides space, comfort, and performance. 
Now, interior-wise, the XJ far surpasses the competition like the BMW 7 Series and Audi A8 and Mercedes-Benz S-Class, in my opinion. Because not only is the interior styled so nicely, you get the Bentley feel and Bentley look and quality, not for the Bentley price. And there are so many great standard features that you get on the XJ that other competitors just can't offer. I mean, you get navigation system. You get the beautiful LCD speedometer display that I actually did not think I would like. But in fact, it's really neat because when you switch it, you can switch right here to dynamic mode. You hold that button down right there. The gauges flare and turn to red. I mean, you can't do that with an ordinary display. So it's really, really nice. And just all the features that are combined into this vehicle. And again, you can see the nice airplane inspired design. I mean, these air vents right here are so very neat and they swivel very nicely. I mean, you just don't get that in other vehicles. That's, that's stuff that other manufacturers do not think about, but Jaguar does, okay? And then on top of that, we have 10 beautiful different wood trims and 11 different choices for leather. The XJ is so, has so many great features that you can compare and, and mix up that other competitors just can't match up again. I mean, you get so much with the XJ. It's so many standard features, like the 5-liter V8 engine. And for $74,000, you get the full moonroof. You get the 5-liter V8, which is what I'm driving right now. And it drives great. I mean, sometimes, you know, you think, eh, maybe I need the supercharge. Yeah, if you want the extra performance, they have two other supercharged engines available. Both are 5 liter V8s. But, I mean, you get a ton of punch from this one, too. I mean, it's really great. And the brakes are very nice as well. Very large disc brakes, great for stopping this large vehicle on a dime. Now, this, again, is the... Uh, base 5 liter V8 produces 380 horsepower and 385 pound feet of torque. Now, that is a lot of power for a reasonable price, in my opinion. And then, of course, you get a fairly decent fuel economy with the base as well. Now, again, the thing that Jaguar sets apart from the competition with their vehicles is not only are the luxury vehicles, but the amount of effort that is put into making them a driver's vehicle as well. And that's what I think Jaguar just does so well with their vehicles. The steering is so precise in this vehicle, you forget that you are driving such a huge car. I mean, you totally forget about it because the steering is so wonderful. I mean, it's so precise. It's great. And then you look back, oh wow, I can see three people back there very comfortably and they all have heated seats as well. I mean, nothing not to like about this Jaguar XJ and it's truly one of the best vehicles on the road. All right, so even with the base 5 liter V8, again, we have two other choices for engines. We have the, again, 5 liter V8 supercharged, and then we have another supercharged which produces an insane amount of horsepower upwards of 500. But again, this base model still produces cat-like agility with this engine. I mean, it's really great. You just step on it. There's no turbo lag because, again, it doesn't have a turbo or a supercharger. And it's a straight away, straight away power. There's no waiting. Cat-like agility on demand. Overall, the 2012 Jaguar XJ is one of the best full-size luxury cars that money can buy. You get Bentley-like quality with the not-so-Bentley price tag. Even 
the most expensive XJ is only around $120,000. And that's fully featured, every feature you can possibly imagine, biggest engine and everything that you could possibly get on an XJ. Now, even though that is a bit expensive, for what you're getting, it's actually a very reasonable price. But now this Jaguar that we have here has been a great vehicle. The XJ includes great performance, great styling, and a ton of space, all within the XJ. Now, we also have a couple other models, like the XF of the Jaguar, which is a little bit smaller, but the XJ is the most luxurious Jaguar that you can get. Now, overall, I think the XJ is a really great luxury vehicle, and it definitely beats out its competitors, like the BMW 7 Series and the Audi A8. Always a performance, space, quality, and price. So, there's really nothing not to like about the XJ and it's truly a driver's car. Thanks for watching this episode of the Oakland Car Review.